Early voting is still underway in South Carolina and day one yesterday actually broke some records. Yeah, it was a very exciting first day. We saw lines. We were live out in Richland County yesterday. There were long voting lines and that was the case in Lexington too. They saw some of the highest turnouts here in the Midlands. Our News 19's Shelly Garzon is back out live once again and this time you're in Lexington County and Shelly, I'm so excited to see another line behind you once again. Yeah, that's right, Christy. Andrea, I'm here at the Lexington County Voter Registration Office where, like you said, the lines are still long today. Now, I'm going to step out of the way so you can see a little bit of what we're looking at here. So as you can see, the line is is moving pretty slowly. We had I just spoke with a voter who told me that this is his third time trying to get in this line today. We've seen the line sort of move a little bit since we've been out here set up. And I just spoke to someone in the drive through line or in the curbside voting as well, who said he's been waiting two hours in the line to be able to cast his ballot today. Now, I also spoke earlier today with some of these state's election commission officials who tell me that more than 125,000 voters cast their ballots in South Carolina yesterday. And as you guys said that broke the record for um, numbers compared to 2022. And as you can see, this line is still filling up with folks just waiting to cast their ballots. So of course, that number will continue to rise. On the opening day of the early voting period for the 2024 general election, we smashed the single day early voting record that was set in 2022. The record in 2022 was approximately 70,000. And yesterday we had over 125,000, so we beat the record by by over 50,000 uh, ballots. Monday kicked off early voting across South Carolina. John Michael Catalano with the state's election commission says the number of voters that came to the polls are the highest we've seen in years. And if we're looking at the Midlands, we saw Richland had over almost 9,000, but um, they were they were at 8,800 or so. We saw Lexington over 6,000, and um, so those were the two biggest counties in the Midlands. We saw almost 1,800 voters in Orangeburg County, over 2,500 in Sumter, almost 1,000 in Fairfield. So we saw, again, a high turnout across the board. State election officials say these numbers beat the turnout in 2022 and 2020. There wasn't a single day in 2020 that got close to 125,000 either, though. So, so that that I can confirm that record was higher than any day in 2020. The cleaner comparison is 2022, though, because the voting system and method lines up more like apples and apples, not apples and oranges. And despite the large turnout, Lexington County officials tell me the lines are still moving quickly. It's been very, very busy, as you can see behind me. Uh, this, the lines are still um, going out just a little bit longer than we had hoped, but we have actually 25 different machines inside there um, the, for them to vote, so um, it's going pretty quickly. Lenny Shoemaker is the director of voter registration in Lexington County. She recommends voters review their sample ballots online before heading to the polls. You can look up your sample ballot. You can just kind of familiarize yourself with what you may be voting on, and that's really helpful. That's the last time that someone would have on the ballot. Uh, please bring uh, your uh, driver's license, military ID, passport, anything that, that you may have to show your ID. It cannot be expired. Voters say this is some of the largest crowds they've ever seen. The times that I I've been voting. I have never seen this many people and everybody's just really in, seems to be enthusiastic about voting. The state's election commission reminds voters there are several places they can vote early. We always strongly recommend anyone who's leading the vote check scvotes.gov first because we have all early voting locations for every county listed there. Most counties have more than one early voting location. They can have up to seven. So I know Lexington and Richland, they are both offering several options and, and most counties again are offering more than just one place to vote. Now I'm also being told that folks can drop off their absentee ballots at any of the early voting locations in Lexington County. And just a reminder that this is only one of six locations that you can visit to early vote in Lexington County. And for a full list of all the locations where you can vote early, that is on our website at WLTX.com. And you can check out all of where you can vote throughout the Midlands. Christy, Andrea, back to you. All right, Shelly, thank you so much. And again, the polls will stay open today until six o'clock. If you are in line at six o'clock, don't worry, you will still be able to cast your ballot. Well,